my great great grandfather was in World War One and he helped build the atomic bomb for World War Two. and I have my great grandmother to help me explain her life in the secret city behind the fence. By the way, her name is Arlene Marshall back then. How long were you at the Oak Ridge for? About four years. Four years? Mm -hmm. Went from my uh, eight, nine, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's my ages. Come back when I was like twelve. Uh, what did we do there? My your Riley's great great grandfather worked in the U plant that uh, worked made the atomic bomb, and our his family, mine and my brother and my mom all went to live there for four years while that happened. And my older brother was in the World War II. This is what you see here, what you do here. When you leave here, you let it stay here. And we zipped up our mouth and we had to wear this badge all the time or I couldn't get back in. I was hardly big enough to get my picture on there. Can I see it? times I wouldn't be able to get back home. You know, they had watched, they made, everybody had to have a badge like that. I was too young to be in the Girl Scouts, but right here I was with my arms folded on in this book. And they, they were getting, they were passing out books for us to read, and I was there with my arms folded. And I took care of babies all the time. I was a babysitter in the area. You're right here. With my arms folded. You're right in the back. Barely. You can barely see you. And Billy was the baby I took care of. I was sitting down in front. This is Billy right here in the front? But he was walking when I first started taking care of him. So this was later on in years. When we get ready to go. Did you guys have like newspapers and stuff? No. We had no newspaper. No phone. No communication with anybody. Did you have like a community? Paper that you read? Just in inside the the inside the secret city with the fence, and this is it right here. This is a seat. we had to be inside this fence all the time, and it was always guarded. You were too young. I mean, too old to be in the Girl Scouts, right? Yeah, I couldn't be. I, I wasn't old enough to be. No, I was not old enough to be in them yet. I was, I was too old. I was too young to be in them. Oh. And uh, we had we had no company. We couldn't have anybody there. Everything was rationed. So where did you live? Like you, it was in Tennessee. So you went to Indiana. Where in Indiana? I was born in Clinton, but we went in Clinton to Tennessee. And so you went Clinton, Indiana, to Oak Ridge, Tennessee. Well, not really to Oak Ridge. We went to a city that didn't exist, and us kids named it Happy. And Valley. the government didn't even know about it. Not many of them. Maybe the president finally was about it, and. Uh, we they didn't send food there. We didn't have groceries because they wouldn't send food to somewhere. So where would you eat? Didn't exist. We had rations. We just each week we had to go out and my mom and get. They would pass out so much food and they'd have to get it from somewhere. But they don't bring food or mail or anything into something like a secret city that don't exist. Nobody knew we were there. It was a secret. That's what I mean. So we did. We food was very rationed. But it was it was a good experience. I'm so glad I got to experience this because it's history. And it was a great experience that I got to go and do that. And when I came home, I was beginning the eighth grade. So where'd you meet my grandpa? My great grandpa. My, my, my husband? Yeah. I met him when I was 16 in high school. In and Clinton, and he, and he, yeah, he never, he would, he didn't know anything. He didn't even know my dad. My dad passed away before I met him. My dad passed away when I was fourteen. After the atomic bomb was made. After we came home about a year later, yeah, he had heart problems. He was in, you know, he was in the war and he lost. He was the war. in the world, what, world War One before I was ever born, and he rode a motorcycle to the front troops and took the information and he played the taps and. Every time the American Legions had a parade, he rode the motorcycle and played the bugle down the street. And that's probably why he got to work at the 
at the new plant where they made the bomb. I don't know if it could be. Do, did you draw at all? I drew all the time, yeah. I didn't Do you draw have any it. drawings? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have some good ones if I can get in here that I had because I went to art school, but that's after I left there. Oh, was, I used to just draw stuff because we didn't have anything else to do. So that was black. What does that say? Can you can you show it's, the camera? Uh, block forty three trailer seventeen. That's where I lived, Oak Ridge, Tennessee. That was my address. We lived in trailers, and we had a, a, a both sides opened up because we had the, like, we had family. We had two kids. And my this is old. Yes, this paper. Old. Yeah, it's old. <laughs> that's a calendar. I you made. know what's crazy? Show them this. Okay, what did I do? She drew. Can you pull that down a little for so we can see it? Closer? No, no. All right, good. She drew a market and like the lady's holding her hair. And look, if you go up, she drew the month of March 1946. 1946, 1946, March. If you look all the way at the bottom right here, if you pull it up, pull it up. You can see that you can, it shows like the weather. It says on this one, rain or snow. And she put down, she marked every single day what the weather was or what happened that day. And new moon, first moon, full moon. You, you spell, uh, if you go up here. <laughs> I spelled something wrong. <laughs> yeah, she spelled super wrong. But you were a kid, it doesn't really matter. And we didn't have anything else to do, so I drew all the time. That's all I did. I drew. I drew pictures. As is. Home of the atomic bomb. <laughs> I know what else I had to do. <laughs> and I drew. We didn't have dolls, toys, so I made my own. I made the, I made my cutouts. And me and my friend, we played with paper dolls. We made our own. more. Then here's an actual girl. And there's an actual girl that we dressed. It's funny, isn't it? Then here's some more. Oh, and we made her such pretty clothes. Look at that. <laughs> I took care of a lot of babies, everybody. And then I got all their pictures. Can you name some of the babies that you oh, were? Yeah, Billy, Henry, Jimmy, Lofton, Angel. Ah, that's my three favorite. I, and I've got pictures that they said their mom sent me after we got home of them. A lot of the pictures were just like them talking about well, that's it. That's kind of a little newspaper flyer yeah. we had there. And this is on. the newspaper. We didn't have a newspaper. We weren't, Here, allowed, say we what weren't that is. allowed to have anything. The, this is like when, she, when I asked her if they had newspapers. This is what they got. Like... This is inside the... This yeah, so they, so they got something to read and stuff in the community. Jones, Ingram, K-25, and K-27. And look what it's saying there. While you're cooking the victory cake, heed well this morning for Limerick's sake. Handle it carefully, practice safety. Brother, now there is a real recipe. Yeah, well. And yes, yeah, this, this is a Jones, Jones area. What well, was it called? The Jones area. It was interesting. It was very interesting time of my life to be there with my dad working. So can you, can you, what's that? Oh, this is the babies I took care of. There's my best friend. What's her name? Faye Blakely. Phoebe. I don't know if I should say her name out on. It's all right. But she was my, we made paper dolls. Here's the two, here's my little Billy that I took care of. I love Billy. He's on the right. Yeah, and he, I took care of him, but he was walking now. This is later. This is Angel, and she was the sweetest little doll. I loved her. I loved all of them. There's Angel again. And I have one of, uh, there's Angel. <laughs> but this is my Billy. I love Billy. And let's see, I got another one here of uh, this little boy here. I took care of him. There he is as a baby. And What's his, his mom, name? That's, uh, that's Jimmy Lofton. And I took care of him, and his mom sent me this picture when he got home and was in school and was more grown up. So a lot of them kept in contact with me. And there was one of Billy that she sent me. Or Jimmy. This is Jimmy, I mean. 
And I don't know where this, she sent me that. He will be three. Why are you act sad? <laughs> I'm not sad. I just don't, I don't want it ruined. I keep it. It's for history. I show it to a lot of people. They like, historians like to read that. And there's a museum actually in Oak Ridge, Tennessee that you can go in down in the basement. You have to ask them to unlock it, and you can go down there, and they got all the information. My brother donated his information, but I'm keeping mine for my children. You already have children. Huh? Okay, thank you, Grandma. Thank mm -hmm. you. You're welcome. Thank you. Sir. That's the wrong hand. Make it a good one. <laughs> all right, thank you. You got to pick my badge in that book. Is oh, yeah. Badge. I'm going to put all that on the couch that right badge here. badge is very important there, honey. Okay, I want to put all this on the couch right here, and you guys can pause the video if you guys want to look at it.